what's up guys welcome back we are here in state of survival state 827 and guys welcome to my new video today i'm going to be showing you how to defend your troops this video is primarily for newer players who are just starting the game but maybe if you're even an older player you can learn some things even though uh, some informations I found in this video I actually didn't know about them. So first things first we have this uh, building which you're going to be unlocking when you finish the whole your base basically and it's called the blast shelter. In blast shelter you can hide your troops for a maximum of 8 hours and the amount of troops is equal to one march. So guys, as you can see, my march it can hold up to 137,961, which means that I can put 137,000 yeah, yeah, for up to eight hours. After I press this click, you can see that my troops are not over here and I have 878 troops on me. Of course, some of are in the other buildings, but I'm going to be showing that later. The next thing on our list, guys, is high at towers as you can see we have over here towers which can show you what is your territory and what is the enemy territory as you can see we are here like this light blue color and enemies are all the other one you can see the green one the purple one yellow and you need to be careful when you're putting stuff in your towers guys because some towers are better than the other for example we can see we have over here uh, one of our towers and you can see that I can send troops in that tower. That's uh, not a very good idea because this tower is at the end. It's not protected by the other towers and people for example in our state that wouldn't happen. But if you're, if you're in a new state where there are no such rules, people are going to be destroying towers, killing players and that's why I'm making this video so you guys can protect your troops at all costs because troops in my opinion are one of the most important resources you have. So basically this one is not very good because you can actually attack him as you can see. But how can you see which one is a good and which one is bad? Basically these towers over here are very good one. Why? Because there are several towers in between of them. For example, if you would like to destroy this tower, at least you need to be destroying this one, this one, and then after that you can go and take that one. But also I don't think that how that works because I think our guys made a very good decision by making it like this. So they will prevent people from teleporting inside because you need a four uh, towers gap to, in order to fit a player inside. And I think, oh, actually this one is our first defense one, but I'm not sure 100% how this stuff looks. But just be careful, if you see like whole place, for example like this, just put it as close as the middle and you're going to be good to go. Next one is garrisoning the Alliance Headquarter. Headquarter cannot be attacked by players and it's very safe especially if you have it placed in the middle we have it to the sides but never mind it's very safe you can put always troops inside your alliance headquarters and you're going to be good to go next one is players if you have one of like a big big spenders like the top guy in your state you can feel very confident in the lefting your some of your troops inside of his base for example if i would want to let some of the troops inside one of my players it would be king you just come over here in reinforcement and you can send reinforcements to him and the one good thing about that is also if uh, someone attacks him i'm not going to be losing any of my troops they're going to be just going to the hospital and my march is going to be coming home so you are not risking even if he gets attacked, but who is going to attack king, for example, he is the king. You are not risking any deaths. Next one, solo marches sending to occupy the places. Uh, this is the part which I didn't know personally. If you can, if you know when you are sometimes searching for players how you do it, you come like here. You found first the enemy, for example, I think we have one player very close to us. For example, we have SKR clan and this is how you would probably look for enemies in like SVS or just in kill event in general. So basically you would find the enemies, scope all the way 
until it's like barely visible like this and you will just go 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 and look for enemies and sometimes you will find the enemies yeah of course but you will see that they don't have troops so now you are asking yourself bro where there are troops why they don't have troops they actually do have them but they are hidden for example, right now, as you can see, if we would come over here, we can see the enemies, etc. We can see the marches, we can see uh, infected, we can see towers, etc. But what we can see is over here. As you can see, this is my alt account who placed his uh, marches over here, like occupying the places. And you can recall them whenever you want. But one interesting part about this is you can send them anywhere you can send them close to mountains you can send them over here in the forest of course they're going to be i think just removing these plots of lands and they're going to be resetting but never mind what my point is that they are not easy places to look for example if you're searching for players and you see a lot of like mountains and such you're not going to be checking them because people don't want to check them that you cannot teleport here as you can see if i'm trying to teleport places when there is for example like mountains they are not uh, able to teleport so people just overlook them and what other people are taking advantage is just sending his marches very close to the mountains and if you would wait and see you can just take them around the mountains and sites like these people are going to be just skipping them but don't put them in some obvious places for example i found a few people placing like in the corners or just teleporting to the corners i need to tell you that first thing when i'm trying to look for some other players i'm looking the whole site the whole corners every single corner all of them i'm just passing through because there are so many people who don't understand that this is the most obvious place to hide for example okay let me just come over here i will as you can see you can see one guy over here free resources this is alt account guy trying to stay protected and such but he is so easy target because what he is in the corner it's so easy to find people who are in the corners as you can see one more guy well, if you come over here, okay, there is one guy pretty close. As you can see, again, people in corners. This is insane. People think that corners are safe. They are not. They are very easy targets. The best places are like something like this. For example, this would be a very nice place. It's not uh, able to find it quite easily. And people are not going to be here because most of the people are going to be in the green zone. So if you want to hide your account, you should be hiding in the great zone somewhere in the middle, but not like some easy place to be, be pinpointed at, as you can see. And lastly, of course, I almost forgot to tell you, you can home over here in settlement bonus, in peace flare, or how do people or veteran people call it, you can bubble. The bubbling is the last and the most obvious option which I almost skipped because thinking it's just like so normal. So basically you have this charge one which is free, you're going to get one every week I feel like. You can see over here in the timer and the other ones you can just get for free by just playing the game or buying them in stores like this basically. I think in backup store you can buy it. Oh no, this is for teleporters, never mind. You can buy them in Alliance store every single week. They're restocking but I'm not sure they're dead good to be honest and of course now when i'm trying to show you so yeah, guys i hope my video helped you to stay protected and save some more troops i hope you liked it leave a like subscribe let's get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer and stay protected guys see ya